Mars sank during a fierce naval battle. As you're descending down towards the wreck, you're actually jumping into a time machine. In this case, 450 years back in time. We think Mars probably was the biggest warship of its time when it was built. It was the legend uh, surrounding the Mars that actually got me intrigued as a young boy. Uh, I wanted to find her and kind of see if the legend was true. But it was also the challenge, as it were, to find a shipwreck that many other people had tried to find, but actually failed. It's a part of a quite a long uh, war. It's called the Seven Year War, where Denmark and Germany was fighting Sweden together. And it's about control over the Baltic Sea, uh, control over, over, over the trade in the Baltic Sea and, and, and the, the, the power of the Baltic Sea. Mars is, of course, a ship, but it's also a battlefield. A frozen battlefield who went down just in the middle of this fight. It was an explosion on board, so the stem part was opening up, so we think it went down very quick. In order to find Mars, we used state-of-the-art uh, side-scan sonar systems. So the wreck is resting at 250 feet in a remarkable state of preservation. The cold and, and very dark water in, in the Baltic Sea preserves wrecks in a fantastic way. So you can see all the details on the, all the decorations on the gun and also the, the coat of arms of the king. So the legend about Mars does not only involve her size as a battleship, it also involves big silver treasure, a war treasure. And we've actually started to find uh, traces of that treasure. We have started to find silver coins. We know that one of the silver coins, its estimated value is 13,000 euros. And since there are 220,000 of them, according to the records, it becomes quite a heap of, of coins and values. We believe that more than 800 soldiers and sailors actually followed Mars when she sank down to her grave. So there's quite a few human remains down there, making the wreck site even more eerie to dive. You can see a lot of bones from these people uh, down there. So the bones are surrounded by the, the charcoal from, from the fire and the impact from the kind of balls and so on. So these people are laying right in this frozen battlefield. I think that's a quite an interesting part of this story also, that we actually could study a battlefield from 1564.